and Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might explode some one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I mm-hmm. meant to bring this story to you a while back. Okay. Um, Oldie but a goodie, I'm sure. Oh, it is. Uh, this actually happened in Texas. Uh, it says that okay. convicted drunk drivers who kill both parents of a child under 18 will now be required to pay child support under a bill signed into law by Governor Greg Abbott earlier this month. So the the person convicted of intoxication manslaughter of both child's parents will make monthly payments to the child's legal guardians. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that is an awesome law. That happened a while ago, but I did did hear about that. Yeah, that's a good idea. There should be harsher crimes for that type of ish. Is that a Texas-only law? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was signed in by the governor of Texas, so I imagine. So, yeah. But, yeah, but, like, I mean, well. I think that, I mean, like, so if you orphan a child. Yeah. You have to pay their, pay their, or God, because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's well documented. Children who go, who are orphaned, like, end up living harder lives. They get into, yeah. you know, it's like a lot harder of a life. They end up addicted. You know, a lot of different things happen to kids who are orphaned. I imagine that it is probably one of the most traumatic things that could happen to you if you lose your parents at, like, the, uh, adolescent age or like you know, eight and you like both your parents bro are yeah. that's earth shattering you were never going to be the same never. well right yeah yeah so then i mean at least somebody's par- but then they're paying it to your like orphan parents adoptive yeah. parents so hopefully they're using it right <sighs> still it's a that's a tough that's a tough because here's my man. thing man if you're driving drunk and murdering people you got enough money to pay child support <laughs> All right, explain that correlation if to me. If you're somebody who's out here just getting drunk and uh-huh. driving around, most people like, if you're just out here getting drunk and driving around, yeah, like you have enough money to. Are, do you feel you're you're making good enough decisions that you have enough to pay child support for somebody? Come, wait, one more time, one more time. If you're willing yes. to get in your car and drive around drunk, yes. drunk enough that you're like gonna murder some people in your car, sure. Do you think? That yeah. you're make, making good enough life decisions in general that you can afford child support. Holy shit. That's a that's a very complex question. <laughs> it, it <is. laughs> How would you answer that? I would say <laughs> probably not. <laughs> what do you think? The fuck, Jonas! <laughs> I don't know what why it's so challenging. Because I, I still, even to this point, don't know what the what the question was. I was I was thinking that you were going to answer it with like a long, <laughs> long winded soliloquy. <laughs> I get probably not. Great, thank you. So no, I don't think that a, a drunk driver who is potentially going to be killing people is making good life decisions. Let alone the life decision to drunk drive and kill somebody. I assume that's what you're asking. No, like I'm if not a, making those sort of decisions. It wasn't. I was wrong. Okay, go. <laughs> no, that's essentially what it is. If they're making those sort of decisions, uh-huh, do you think uh-huh. they're they're financially responsible or making a lot of money? Oh, to be able to I thought them? you said they were at first. Okay, no, I don't think that they. I don't think they would be. I would say is that. This problem is not something that that hits the most affluent people in in the country. I think it's something that hits mostly poor people. So I think that this act, this little extra added like financial thing that is, is to it is just to uh, what do you call that? Divert people from doing it. Yeah, because you poor people are the main people who are hitting drunk drunk drivers anyway. Um, so people who got nothing to lose. Exactly. So if you're just thinking, oh, it's just a DUI, it's become to the point now where DUIs are just like, yeah, I got a DUI. Big deal. You know? Right. But now if there's this little added thing of like, yo, it's not just a fine. It's not just a heartache. It's not just a jail time. Now there's a financial part added to it. Don't do it. How take, many times do we have to tell you, Uber. old man? Take the Uber. Exactly. And that's what you're trying to say. And it makes sense, man. Like I said, Austin, big town, man, big I, Uber's pretty good out here. I don't know how many drunk driving accidents happen out here. But this is, brings me back to the point I made. Laws aren't for us, man. Of course, we're for it because they, they don't affect us. We take the Uber. I have yeah. no problem taking the Uber. Yeah, me neither. I'll pay pay 60 bucks mm-hmm. to just get as drunk as I want and get yep. home. Yeah, yeah, basically, man. So, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it should be. T- I think there should be harsher penalties for a lot of crimes. But then you get into the whole idea of like, of course, crime is done by the poor people. And it pays. <laughs> it does pay. So it's like, do we really want to continue to target with harsher penalties these people who are already on harsh times? It's a very delicate balance when it comes to it. What crime? Mm hmm. Does the penalty of getting your hand cut off pay? I'm, I don't come ask the question again. <laughs> what crime? Ask it in a different way. <laughs> use use two less words. I don't know. How because I don't know what the question was I, again. I swear to God, people are going to be like, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Either. I love talking in ways that you don't understand. Know, that's probably uh, what maladaptive for a podcast. Would, <laughs> would getting your hand cut off be the proper penalty for? So you're asking me if you get caught doing the this penalty, thing, you lose a hand. What is it? That, that, see, now that's what I wanted. That was two less words too. It was not. It, it was probably looking back. Rewind. Count them up, bros. Count them up. Put you it let in the us comments. know in the comments. Either way, what crime? I think that uh, if you get taught t- touching a child, they cut your freaking hand off. Oh. Like sexually, you mean, right? Not just like helping them up the steps. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hold their hand up the steps, they just cut your yeah. hand. Yeah. And honestly, yes, it would have to be sexually because if you like hit a kid, then yeah, that's probably justified. That kid was probably acting like an asshole. Like, I've seen like kids like hitting adults and stuff, and the dude is like, yo, he's just like pushing the kid away. And kids like kicking him and stuff and starting to hit him in the stomach. And the guy was just like, all right, smacks the kid down to the ground. He's like, I'm still an adult. You're a child. What are <laughs> right. you doing? Like, yeah, that's justified. That you, they should probably just. You ever, you ever see that video in the. Where pay that, you. Where that kid in the park keeps like antagonizing the adult. Like, that's trying the to I, fight. That was the one I was talking about. And then about. he eventually just like lays his ass yeah, out. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. He was like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, he's crying and making a scene like a Karen. The kid turns into a Karen. Whoa, I'll just start crying and everybody will come to the rescue. Nah, kid. And the next person walked up and just slapped him a second time. I will tell you, Jonas, that I don't like watching fight videos very either. much either. No, um, I hate it. But there is nothing I love more when I see a person antagonizing hitting a person and then that person just turns around and just lays them the f out that is some oh, of yeah. my oh my god i will say the videos i do yeah. enjoy is like where a bully's picking on someone and the kid just like that, socks him and knocks him out that cold. one like th- those are like that i mean one. and i and and i worded this very careful when i say when i see a person hitting another person and you're like I man see, woman whatever whoever is the antagonizer getting I'm not They're saying, just desserts. I'm not saying any of that, Jonas, because I don't believe that we should hit women. But when I see a person mess with another person, and I see that person defend themselves after being antagonized, I'm sweetest thing. Oh my god, Jonas! I swear to God, <laughs> it, like, it gets my bulperin levels up when I think about that. <laughs> You're what? You have to look that one Bulperin? up. Bulperin? No. Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah. Bulperin. Yeah. Look okay. Here, look I've up. never heard of that. <laughs> <word. laughs> never heard that word before. Get to get the Cowper's flu- fluid flowing a little bit. Cowper's? Not- <laughs> get the Cowper's out. I love using medical terminology. Anyway, Joe, yeah, so you got you to gotta be careful out there. Don't hit people. Don't touch children. I think there should be a penalty for... The, I mean, they, it's self defense, right? If somebody's messing with you and you and you knock them the f out, that's self defense, right? Yeah. Oh, I agree. Most of the time, so yeah, just keep your hands off people. Don't touch children. Don't give me no lies and keep your hands to yourself. And don't and don't drink and drive in Texas, man. That's for damn sure. Don't do it. They used to have. I haven't heard of them in a minute, but I also don't pay attention to like the news here, like the local news. Um, no refusal weekends where they would have uh. Uh, warrant, judge, bench warrants on hand so if you refuse to blow in the uh, breathalyzer they can get a warrant to get your draw your blood immediately they just oh, they have them on deck yeah. just like they just go hey burger burger one nine we got a we got a johnny and he's like oh get johnny's blood there you go and he just walks up and syringes you right there <laughs> no they take you they tend to take you somewhere <laughs> yeah but. i don't think the pol- i don't think the police are licensed phlebotomists they but. got one with them <laughs> keep a phlebotomist got a back. phlebotomist on deck <laughs> they got a bench warrant and a flobo dude a just- flobo <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> you're like, I'll God. never. Like, where the Flobo at? Brother, if I ever encounter a phlebotomist <laughs> right now, I'll be like, what's up, Flobo? <laughs> Flobo. You, I'm not going to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> that Anyways. Was, that was just weird. <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.